Oh my goodness. Hello ladies and gentlemen, DX1 here and welcome back to another Pokemon Go presentation. Holy moly. All right, so welcome back to Williamstown, New Jersey. We are finally back home after a, I'd say a very wild, wild weekend in Las Vegas. So let me get my camera adjusted here. Okay, beautiful. So, um, I guess you could say a very wild, wild weekend in Vegas, which is pretty interesting because, you know, Vegas is definitely the city where you'd expect to have wild weekends. And um, we're a little bit off sync right now, guys, as a channel. So I'm kind of using this as my, my get right video, honestly, because a lot of things did happen in um, Vegas. There is a video that I wanted to post, my second Las Vegas video. And unfortunately, a lot a lot of things happen so let's go I'm just gonna recap everything let's just run down what happened so so the day after I recorded my second video I went out at night in Vegas dropped my phone broke my phone and I was able to get it replaced while in Vegas however um, I'm not gonna be able to take the files from my other phone so my old phone has obviously the um, Pokemon Go footage the gameplay footage from the previous video so what I have to do is actually get that screen replaced just so I can view the files so that's gonna take some time and some money so right now my second my part two Vegas video is coming but it's gonna be backlogged so that's the thing also I literally I literally just landed so I've, I've been home for about like an hour and a half and um, I, it's a beautiful day outside, but I just need to I know I need to go home and get some sleep I got to edit this I got to go home. I got to get some sleep I got to get right because I know that it was a fun weekend, but like There's bees everywhere and all up in my face That's how you know it's spring when bees are all up in your face and they're flying around so um Yeah, I'm gonna use this video to like kind of reset myself and talk about what's going on in Pokemon Go because I did miss, I missed a lot of stuff. We missed the um, John Hankey conversation, we gotta go over that. Um, there's a brand new event that just launched. By the time you're watching this, it will be live. So we need to talk about that as well. And yeah, I'm gonna use this as like a recovery video. Just trying to reset my head and we're gonna get back into shape over the next couple of days because I have a lot of ideas. Like, I have a lot of ideas and a lot of concepts, a lot of things I want to do for the channel, but I just haven't shot anything yet. I haven't shooting any videos because, honestly, Vegas was freaking insane. But, you know, it's Vegas, so <laughs> that's the thing. Let's keep on talking about what's going on in Pokemon Go, and uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get things back up to speed within the next couple of days with the video, so stay tuned. All right, so let's go over the most interesting, I guess it's like, I guess it is the most interesting, the hottest um, housekeeping component in Pokemon Go right now as I kind of like reset myself, get things back in shape. So John Hankey, um, our man, our guy, um, on a plane talking to a verified level 40 Pokemon Go player, which is freaking amazing first off, like out of all the people that you could be on a plane with, you're on a plane with like one of your best players of your game. Uh, and that's quite incredible, just to say the least. So uh, I don't remember exactly who he was, so I'm gonna put down his name below on a graphic, just in case you're watching this. Of course, you need to be credited for um, your accomplishment for getting this information from John Hankey. So he did confirm Gen 4 PvP and a whole bunch of other stuff that's going on in Pokemon Go. Also, he did specify that they are making a lot of moves to combat spoofers, which we've seen with the recent ban wave, with the maps going down, with so many different and new security measures going down in Pokemon Go, you know, obviously that Pokemon Go is taking a stand against spoofing and against hackers and stuff like that in the game. So um, it's pretty cool that we actually got confirmation from the CEO of Niantic of this information. Also, they're going to be working on P uh, PvP. So PvP is coming, guys. It is coming. But we knew this was coming. But it's, it's really cool that we have the confirmation from the highest official of Niantic. So Lots of encouraging things that were said about Pokemon Go from John Hankey, which is always, always, always awesome to see. And I'm really stoked for the future of Pokemon Go. Guys, if we get PvP and Gen 4, especially by the end of this year, this game is going to absolutely be popping off. And the game has been improving, guys. We've been getting frequent events, getting frequent shinies, um, we're getting new Pokemon. It's been a fantastic experience and a fantastic game to play. Where's my Mewtwo app? Actually, this... 
this chain is going to be tough to take out even with my Mewtwo. Since, uh, alright, let's go back to Tarantar. Anyway, guys, John Hankey pulling off the information for us. So, huge shout out to the Verify Level 40 player and John Hankey for that awesome play, my awesome confirmation. Uh, PvP is coming, Gen 4 is coming, and Niantic is taking action against spoofing, and GoFest is also happening. Um, we don't exactly know where, but it's, it's heavily rumored to be in Germany. However, we don't exactly know what's going on with GoFest, but it is happening though. So, uh, let's, now let's finish off with the next piece of housekeeping. Okay, so before we go any further, there were many things that I was talking about outside that I missed out on when it comes to the actual conversation with John Hankey. So we're just going to pull it up right here from GoHub. And the other main points that I did miss was there will be a level cap increase. So that was a big question mark that is now confirmed, which is pretty interesting right there. He said that to which level is also unknown, but at the time of this publication... But that's not the end of it, as their conversation Hanky confirmed the following. Pokestop submissions are coming as well, which is pretty interesting. Also, GoFest 2.0 is in the works, and there's also leaked as a German rumor. And Niantic allegedly had plans to host a big event in Dortmund, Germany this summer. So, also, that Niantic is indeed taking actions against spoofers, and the recent ban wave was not a mistake in any fashion. So, um, no need to verify the information as well as our guy, Dr. Pogo. Times 4 level 40 experience. Shout out to you, man. Um, meeting the man himself, John Hankey. And as you can see, um, having an awesome tweet of, of John Hankey. That totally went viral, as it should have. Um, 161 likes, 118 comments. Holy moly. This reversal, just absolutely having a great time finding this out. So uh, I just want to make sure I pulled it up, get all the information properly displayed for you guys. And yeah, that is the news. That's what's going on in Pokemon Go. So back to the video. So in addition to that news, this also occurred. This occurred about an hour after I landed back in Jersey. It says, actually, I landed in Philly and I drove to Jersey. But it says, are you tough enough? Fighting type Pokemon take the spotlight and step up into the ring for a battle showdown. And this is pretty interesting because when I first saw this, of course, the only thing that came to my mind was PvP. I thought, like, this was the announcement for PvP and Pokemon Go. I was about ready to lose it like I'm like delirious right now I'm super exhausted I need to sleep and then Pokemon Go is gonna drop PvP I was like are you freaking serious but it's not a, a PvP announcement what this is is a brand new fighting tip so we got a new event going on Pokemon Go right after Earth Day so this is dope so it says trainers it's time to test the strength of your Pokemon during a special battle event Fighting type Pokemon such as Machop, Makuhita will appear more frequently in the wild starting May 1st at 1 o'clock p.m. So basically at around 4 o'clock today, the event will be live. Um, it says, but what's a battle celebration without some competition at your nearby gym? Until May 14th, you'll receive double XP for gym battles and raid battles. Plus, raid battles will award a guaranteed 3,000 starters for participating and at least one rare candy if you win. So that is freaking Beautiful stuff right there. That is amazing already. So several actions at gyms will yield bonuses including two times badge multipliers so you can receive even more benefits at a gym you visit frequently. And it says just stopping by, spinning a photo disc at gyms will also yield, yield more items. So gym stops are going to give you more items. So hopefully I'll be able to um, fix my um, hyper potion issue right here. So I only have about, yeah, I have 20 Hyper Potions. I'm used to having like 60 or 70, so maybe this gym event will help me out with that. But as of that, I think that's going to do it for all the housekeeping components. So I pretty much covered everything um, I wanted to cover in this video right now. So I just wanted to show you guys this as well. So we did get to Shiny Whelmer in Las Vegas. 236 encounters to actually get this Shiny Whelmer. And we're going to be evolving that in the next video, which will probably be like the day after tomorrow. So... I'm like, I'm going to slowly get things back together because there's a lot of ideas um, I have in my head and I wrote them down and we're going to be having a lot of brand new video concepts coming to the channel for the next coming days, so look forward to that as well. Also, what we're going to be doing is some new series. I'm going to be showing you guys some new hints and tricks that were supposed to be in the Las Vegas video, but of course the Vegas video is going to be backlogged. Um, interestingly enough, we did get a shiny Whelmer. We're going to be evolving that and yeah, Vegas was... um. Pretty wild, pretty wild. And I, I tried to do some live streams in Vegas as well. Um, they were pretty good for like the first hour, but then after that, the things started to like, like, um, 
things started to get kind of chaotic and the stream wasn't as good after that but again when you're in a brand new city and you're trying to do a live stream things can get kind of messy so I do apologize for that but we're gonna be back on track this week I'm gonna be pumping out videos a lot so don't forget to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification and we're gonna I'm gonna work my way back to normal after a wild wild weekend in the desert in Las Vegas so DX1 is back at it again, and I will see you guys in the next one.